Hey, I'm Scott Henderson. Um, I'm playing here today at MI with a really great bass player, Rufus Philpot, and awesome drummer, Andy Sinisi. It's like most of my concerts, a little bit of everything. There's jazz, blues, rock. It's, I don't like to define myself because I do a lot of different stuff. If you ask me, open counseling is the heart of this school because you can't possibly have a school that goes on for a year and have a bunch of people on the same level. There's going to be people that are bored in their classes, and there's going to be people that are a little more confused than others. So for the people that are bored, they can come to open counseling, hang out with the guy, talk about whatever they want, you know, and test out of that class if they want to, and go spend some time learning what they need to learn. And the same goes for a guy who's more confused. They can go to open counseling and say, hey man, I don't understand what's going on in this class. Can you help me out? So that part of the school is really that looseness is what makes this a great school because you're not you're not confined to a class if you're ahead of it if you're too advanced for it you know so that's a great thing about this place my viewpoint on teaching is I was a teacher the very first day I, I bought a guitar because somebody showed me a Jimmy Page lick and I just showed it to somebody else it's always give and take I mean as long as you're learning you ought to be teaching that's sort of the way I look at it. I'm sort of look at myself as a as a student for the rest of my life, and as long as I'm learning from people, I feel like I ought to give what what I what I learn back. Of course, and I get paid for it, so you can't beat that. And it's fun, you know, because most of the time um, in my room we play more than we talk, and people tape record what I do, and transcribing is a really big part of learning. Um, a school by itself will never teach you to be a good player. School is only half of it. The rest of it is learning from CDs, transcribing the great players that are in, in everybody's CD collection. And that's how most of the great musicians learned how to play before there ever were music schools. My main advice is to keep your ears open, you know, and don't get too clicky about what you listen to. You know, there's too many guys that are culturally involved in music. Music is not I don't like music culture. I like music to be about notes. You know, if you like something by Deep Purple, great. If you like something by Pantera, great. If you like something by Neil Sedaka, great. It shouldn't influence your friends, what they think about you, because you like different types of music and people that get into clicks and are thought of being weird or not cool because they happen to listen to something else besides what their group of friends listen to. That's messed up. You know, so I always just tell people to try to keep their ears open and, and you know, and try to listen to as many different kinds of music as you possibly can, especially while you're young, because you have no idea what you're going to be doing when you're my age. <laughs>